what's going on guys this is boot trip playing boom beach on this video guys i'm gonna be taking out colonel gearheart it's gonna be super fun to use seven boats of warriors and one boat of heavy it's gonna be super super fishy guacamole so let's go ahead and let's scout the war factory and let's see what we got here okay so i used a lot of time to figure out what i should do here what kind of tactic what worth what kind of combo should i attacking should i be attacking colonel gearheart with so I was thinking like tanks and scorchers, I was thinking like heavies and zookas, but I mean like there's tons of laser beam there, tons of laser beams and we have like tons of rocket launchers stacked up together, uh, we have the shock launcher on the left side, so I was thinking like, okay, what if I rush down the HQ with the warriors and heavies, that would be totally insane like a banana fried chicken guys. So, that's the thing I'm gonna be doing right now, heavies and warriors are totally gonna go ham blasting on that HQ from the Colonel Gearheart. So, okay, let's rock and roll. Let's not waste time. Let's see if I can do this. So, um, I'm really, really nervous. I'm always super nervous when I'm attacking Colonel Gearheart because uh, uh, the, the placement uh, of the uh, the uh, the critters and smoke screen is actually frustrating me because I'm really used to uh, to uh, to have the smoke screen where the uh, the critters are. Well, it's close to each other, and I really misclick a lot. I really misclick a lot, and I'm super nervous all the time when I'm facing Colonel Gearheart. Same with Hammerman Strikes Back. Okay, it's time to take out the warriors, and I'm gonna be trying to take out the warriors in the left side of the beach i'm gonna be trying to re uh to to stack him up on the left side and hopefully i can save a lot of gunboat energy without using too much smoke screen and it's really dangerous to play like that anyways flaring up to the left side of the beach i'm gonna be taking out my warriors and covering up my warriors with smoke screen taking them out and check this out guys Okay, it's time to smoke screen, and I'm feeling so much right now. I'm, I'm actually, I'm super nervous, guys. I'm super nervous. Look at this. I've already lost a lot of warriors. This is gonna be like totally insane, guys. How, how can I defeat? Uh, how can I defeat Colonel Gearheart right now? Um, when you're gonna be playing, when you're gonna be playing against Colonel Gearheart, uh, make sure you're not nervous, cause I'm shaking, guys. I'm actually shaking, cause I, I really think that Colonel Gearheart is really, really hard with these uh, new prototype defenses. I have no idea how fast they can kill my troops, and as you see, that the laser beam is really, really dangerous. So we still have some warriors ready to smack that HQ, and there we go. We don't have any gunboat energy to shock any buildings at all. Only the laser beams, the shock, the shock launcher is shocking my warriors. And there we go. I made like 20% damage on that HQ, and that is really not enough. Um, if I if I continue like that, it's not gonna be enough to take her down. So let's go ahead and do another attack. Um, I really hope I'm not shaking this time so that was really fail i actually uh, i actually was we're tapping the smoke screen and, uh, and it wouldn't smoke screen uh that is panic guys that is panic like a banana guys i'm telling you that's a monkey banana panic <laughs> okay so another attack putting on my warriors and as you see here my warriors are not cover up covered up completely with smoke screen and that is totally fail I'm failing once again on the second attack. The question right now, will I be able to take down Colonel Gearheart? I do not think this is going to be um, an easy fight for me right now. Because I've lost a lot of warriors. And um, I'm super nervous. And there's tons of things happening in my head right now. So, okay, taking out the heavy. And I'm really hoping that the rocket launchers and the shock launchers are directing damage on those heavies. Because um, those warriors do not have too much HP. It's really important that you cover up your warriors when you're using this kind of combo. Make sure the rocket launcher and the shock launchers are targeting the heavies. And there we go. We actually made uh, more damage on this attempt. 35%. Uh, and it still have like 40% left. And that is going to be like really hard. I, I have no idea now if I'm going to be taking down Dr. Uh, I mean Colonel Gearheart. This is going to be really hard guys. It's going to be hard. You do not mess with Colonel Gearheart. Make sure... Your tactic is sorted out, and this is really, really badass. Wow, wow. So, check out this battle replay. Check out this battle replay. Uh, this was the second attack. Um, I was able to shock the uh, laser beam and the shock launcher, but I wasn't able to shock those rocket launchers. Those rocket launchers are really deadly, at least when there's like six rocket launchers tossing damage on the warriors. That's like banana fried chicken, guys. I'm telling you, that chicken, that is chicken. Okay, so making another bulk of warriors and heavies, we're gonna be hand blasting. This is the last chance. This is the third attack, and that means 
if I cannot take down Colonel Gearheart, I won't be getting any rewards at all, and I'm, I'm gonna be completely failing. So, this is the third attack, guys. I'm super ready. I'm super pumped. Uh, the HQ got like 267, three, uh, 391 health left, and that is a lot. That is crazy a lot, and wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. I really hope I can take her down because I really need those prototype modules. Uh, it's gonna be super fun to make those uh, maxed out prototype defenses. At least the Doom Cannon, that's super awesome. I like it. I like it. Okay, it's time to focus. And uh, the thing I'm gonna be doing here is actually uh, I'm gonna be stacking up my warriors on the crate. I'm gonna be stabilizing my warriors because I haven't really been stabilizing my warriors on the uh, two last attack. I've been just going in like Jenkins, just rushing in. And I'm gonna be taking slowly right now. So flaring on the box or the object and I'm taking out my warriors very slowly here, covering up. I'm making sure all of my warriors here now is covered up because I cannot, I cannot lose any warriors anymore. I cannot lose them. If I lose a warrior, it might be a... Uh, uh, it might be a lack of damage, so check this out guys, I'm covering up my warriors very carefully here, I'm very carefully on what I'm doing right now, my brain is in super focus right now, so pumping up another smoke screen there, there we go, and moving over to the HQ, and this is just awesome, this is an awesome control of the warriors, no warriors lost, and it's time to take out the heavies, and it's time to shock those defensive buildings as well, and there we go, shocking the laser beam, shock, uh, shock launcher, and those mortars, and there we go, look at this guys, wow, wow. Wow, this is just great. I took down Colonel Gearheart with three attacks. Uh, that was the last, that was the last remaining attack I could do in Colonel Gearheart. That was super pumping. Uh, wow, I, I cannot find words, guys. I cannot find words. I was able to take down Colonel Gearheart uh, with like 45% health left. And we're going to be reclaiming those prototype modules like a fishy dang. So check this out. Complex gear and field capacitor capacitor <laughs> anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video on the next video i'm gonna be making a maxed up doom cannon it's gonna be rocking awesome it's gonna be super rocking banana fried guys i'm telling you so stay tuned i'm gonna be making that doom cannon very very soon so keep on booming and see you guys and goodbye boom